Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, August 9, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Micah chapter 2, reading from verse 1 to 3. And it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil, from which he shall not remove your neck neither shall he go utterly for this time is evil amen we give god thanks this morning for his word and this is a very stern warning and a very serious message to those who are bent on doing evil those who are set in their way on a course to constantly do evil right and not just do it but those who practice who think it up and then put it in in motion it says war to them and when the bible uses the word war you know it's a very serious situation it says that them that devise iniquity and they what think up evil it used the word here beds in their beds but it could be summarized or used whenever they think of evil so it doesn't have to be when you are in your bed lying down it just use that as one of the scenario but it's speaking about anyone that think up evil wherever you are and at any point in time and then put those evil thought that you have thought up in motion and it gives some examples stuff like coveting someone's feel or coveting someone for what they have and then take it away from them in violence so those who steal those who pillage those who kill those who do all manner of evil against others they the lord says who oppress others right and take away their heritage the lord says that he will devise an evil against them in other words he's saying that he is going to punish them for what they did or for what they are doing and there's no one who will be able to save them in fact the Lord says that what? He will not remove their necks. So in other words, he will not take away the punishment. So whatever the consequences that that situation bring, you will receive it. Because what? Because of what you have done. And one thing we should understand, when the Lord draw us up, we are really draw up because there's no one else who can snatch us from his hand, right? So whatever punishment we will receive or should receive from what we have done or from what we are doing, we will receive it. But you know, it is so interesting that the Bible say this because when you think about 
all that is happening out there in the world today and all those people who this is identified with both the ones who are doing the, the stealing and the crime and those who are affected by it innocently it, it is such an important thing for us to understand that God will not let these things go unnoticed. So God sees your pain and he sees your oppressor. And for those who are doing the oppressing, those who are committing the violence, God is seeing you. And your time will come. You might feel like you're getting away with it now. But as the old saying goes, it's not the same day leave dropping water, it decay. So your time will come. And my recommendation to you will be this. Repent and change before your season come because it's going to be unbearable for you and that's a promise because god is watching and recording everything that you are doing and so for those who are being oppressed those who are being affected this is also a message for you to take comfort that God is at your defense. He will come to your defense. And that's why the psalmist say that what? Vengeance is mine, say the Lord. And what? I will repay. So, evil does pay, but is not a price or a reward that we are willing to receive. But it pays. Because when you commit evil, you got to leave with the consequences or you got to receive the consequences. The consequences is your pay. And so this morning, I encourage all of us, anything that we are thinking of in our hearts and our mind to do that we know is not right, desist from doing so because the Lord is watching you. He's watching all of us. Let us make the choices that will bless and glorify His name. Amen. Amen.